Hey, it's Cindy and the girls from Homegrown Hunt. We started growing potatoes about a year and a half ago, and oddly enough, we grew them in our pants. Actually, leftover fabric from some cut-off jeans that I had. All I did was gather the ends and make it into a sack. And it worked pretty good, although our harvest was small. In fact, so small that the little potatoes that came out we called the velveteen potato. Now what we are doing is we're growing potatoes in recycled coffee sacks. Burlap is so cool. This jute is great because drainage holes are built in. Right, girl? Yep. And, yep. and it's tall. And instead of having ugly tires in the backyard, because I know folks use tires and they stack them up as the potatoes grow or an old garbage can, instead of that, we have something that looks kind of modern and kind of cool, especially for a hick like me. Right. So now right. instead of the pants, we're going to do the sack. And all you do is you take a sack and you roll it. roll it until you get it small and short like this. Maybe about six inches high, six to eight inches high. And then you add some nice garden soil and even some soil amendment. We like to use what? What do we use for soil amendment? Do you remember? Um, worm casting. Worm casting. Compost and? Kelp. Good job. Kelp. Cool. So the potatoes that we have, we actually offer these at the Vista Farmers Market at a booth that we run are three different varieties of gourmet organic potatoes. We have all blue and we individually wrap them. We don't want them to touch when they're in storage. We keep them in a nice cool place. All blue. Stop throwing rocks at each other. <laughs> French fingerling. This one was a long seed potato so we cut it in half. Chitting is the process of pre-sprouting your potatoes before you grow them. Many folks believe that you need to chit your potatoes before you stick them in your container or the ground, but we don't do that. We just throw them in, and if there are eyes on the potato, we know that eventually they'll sprout. If chitting is your thing and you want to pre-sprout before you put them in your sack, container, or the ground, then all you do is put them in an egg carton or a place where you can separate them so they won't touch, somewhere cool where they have some light and they will sprout. Once they get to be about an inch or two long, the sprouts, then you can stick them in your container. Plant three or four potatoes per sack, eyes and or sprouts facing up. And then you're just going to cover with about three to four inches of garden soil, loose garden soil, not compacted clay. Sandy soil is fine. Potatoes aren't picky. In fact, some people grow them with hay. A little tip for you, if you want to conserve soil, fold the ears or the ends of the burlap sack under when you're filling it. As far as watering goes, just keep your potato plant moist. Don't overwater, don't make it waterlogged. You can do it every other day, depending on conditions. If it's really hot, then give it a little drink. If the rain is continuous, just relentless, then you might want to cover up your sack so that it doesn't sit in a puddle. Here's a look at the potatoes that we're using. The all blue, you can see an eye, a sprout, and we would put this in the soil, sprout facing up toward the sun. Here's a French fingerling. Here is the Desiree Red. The first sack, or the sack on the right, that is already um, 
been mounded up, meaning I've put more soil in once the plant started to grow and leaf out after it got to be about six, eight inches high. I added more soil. adding more soil. After about three months, 80 to 100 days, these are early variety potatoes. I tried to pick three kinds that would grow at the same time. After a few months, you'll see that the plant has stopped flowering and it'll start dying off a little bit. And then you wait two weeks for the skin to set. Then you can start to harvest. And when you harvest, you can dump over the sack all at once, or you can dig them carefully out as you need them and just keep them in the sack. Running in the sand, living on the land. The salty breeze was in our eyes. We stood beneath the dragonflies and danced all night. We polished all the chrome on a rusty little home. We slept all night in parking lots. We tied our hearts in double.